the uh, next question of uh, with the portal being so large in number, you know, what is your take on recruiting out of the portal? Yeah, I think with a lot of things in sports, right, the the standard is what it is. Like it takes mm -hmm. what it takes to to be good, to do well at something. So this is the way of the world in terms of uh, recruiting, mm -hmm. in terms of the off season for a lot of coaches. So uh, I think the portal is a great way to improve a roster uh, in a very short amount of time. Right. Uh, I got to talk about this with my friend a lot, you know, last year. Yeah. Last year around this time, you know, USC was 15 and 16. Mm -hmm. And then although she wasn't a portal kid, but you get Juju Watkins, right? you know, all of a sudden now they're in the Open up for other people right? to come you, here. Yeah. Yeah. You can quickly flip teams, uh, flip your roster in a portal. Uh, that's got to be done the right way. It can't affect mm -hmm. your culture and your chemistry, all right. those things. But you know, it is, um, it's a great way to improve your roster. The the high number, yeah, that's tough. I th the way you navigate that is you have to have pre-existing relationships with mm -hmm. high school coaches, AAU coaches, and that's stuff that really can't just, those are conversations and relationship building that can't just occur, you know, every March and April. You know, mm -hmm. that's got to be ongoing throughout the year. Maybe there's a couple of years that you won't recruit someone from their AAU program or their high school program, but are you still connecting with them in different ways? Phone calls, letters, inviting them to your team camps, inviting right. them to coaches clinics, and then staying connected in that fashion. Even going to watch them for a half or a full game at an AAU tournament just to show them some love mm -hmm. and uh, tap them up and say what's up. You know, those yeah. are all really, really important. That's that's when people say, oh, relationships make job or relationships are so important. That's really what I believe they mean. And uh, but, yeah, it's a grind. For mm -hmm. sure. And if you want to be good, you got to be in there. I'm sure your 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 staff um, is in there working real hard, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, that's been like a big topic that I've been seeing like on Twitter, just like, oh, there's so many players in the portal. And then like, you know, you go in there, it might be a possibility that, that you're not going to be pulled out of it or whatnot. But like you said, I know one of the big things that I've been hearing from a lot of coaches is having those pre-existing relationships with those players and re-recruiting players that maybe you recruited before and they went somewhere else and now they're in a the portal like you know not having no bad blood between them because hey like I, st I still want you you know right and you might not have fit there but you can come and fit you know here and, and I think that's a good way that you know you have an outlook on it and, and it's just good to hear from more coaches like it's all about relationship it's all about relationships and building those right. connections for sure yeah absolutely uh next question how do you kind of balance you know, your life of being a social head coach with also your social and mental life. Yeah, yeah. I think that's really, really important. I think um, for everyone, that's different. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously everyone's everyone's version of what is enough time for themselves and their family is different. Uh, and it's okay if, if, you know, let's say you need X amount of hours, X amount of days in the year, and that's different than mine. Number mm -hmm. one, as an assistant, as a subordinate, you have to find a boss and a place that aligns with who you are and what yeah. you need. Because if you're in a situation where there's no alignment there, it's going to make your daily life hard. And, you know, a lot of times that's why you see, I think, people looking for different opportunities or, um finding different jobs or whatever, because there's no alignment there and it doesn't make it bad or wrong. You know, you have to find institutions, programs, departments, and most importantly, the, the staff and team you work with every day that are aligned with what mm -hmm. you need, who you are as a person. So for me, that's been huge. I think open lines of communication with my boss are great. She allows me to be a husband and a father. You know, my boss is never going to be upset if I got to leave early because there's a dance recital <laughs> or, you know, it's my it's my job because my wife's working late and I got to go pick up my daughters right at 3 15 mm -hmm. that alignment is there so that's huge I'm very grateful for that uh, with coach Carlson um and that really is the simple segue into how I am able to stay grounded stay balanced it does start with my family you know getting to be a husband and a dad mm -hmm. are huge you know, because whether we won or lost or had a tough, tough practice or yeah. somebody went into the portal or anything like or missed out on a recruit, you know, uh -huh. I need to go home and, uh, you know, my three year old is going to want to 
sit on my lap and watch on her iPad, mm -hmm. you know, some bluey or something funny. Yeah, because she don't, so, like, she don't know. Yeah, she just she don't, don't know. know. Yeah. She don't know. So yeah. like again, like being being able to kind of compartmentalize and switch your brain into okay, I got to be a dad right now. Mm -hmm. That really helps. Um, I think it's really important. Like for me. Like I probably have a bad day if I don't do something, I don't work out, I don't do something physical, you know, that's not always crazy. You know, like if that means um, you got to get a good walk in, like to start your day or, uh, you know, I've made recruiting phone calls going for a walk, like those are easy. Yeah. Other times I want to get a full lifting session in uh, over in the football weight room. And that's what you need to kind of, kind of reset. Like that's a big part for me. So working out helps with that balance. Um, and then for me, one thing that has helped is basketball naturally takes on different seasons, right? Like your yeah. preseason is different from your in-season, in-season is different from post, and right. post is different from the summer. So for me, that change actually helps me mentally. Um, some some people, maybe it's always a grind depending on where they work or who they work for. So I, I get that, that that's hard. But, you know, not doing scouting reports to doing scouting reports to not worrying about uh, kids being in class and when you can schedule individual workouts or weightlifting sessions to how we handle the summer, you know, like all that's different. So for yeah. me, that that's ever changing and it's a positive thing because I'm not doing the same thing five days a week, yeah. nine to five, like all the time. But, uh -huh. um, and then obviously, you know, I got friends that are into yoga um spirituality is a big important thing for them everyone's relationship with with god and and their faith is different and yes. i think that's very very important as well in terms of being balanced um and then like activities i don't know you know my best friends in the whole world they're not really basketball fans at all some of them they're big football fans so i do have like a, these some of these like different outlets uh -huh. uh, that aren't always like inundating me with basketball so that also has helped that's an unintentional balance yeah. you know what i mean yeah, yeah. no that's awesome and, and i liked how you worded like how each like postseason is different preseason all that and it's different season and i feel like like you said some people can think of it as a grind like every day is the same and when you when you put it like that and you break it down like that it, it almost you know changes my mind like okay no this is a different season like it's a different right. outlook and I've been like different better spiritually and everything too so that's been a help for me as well so I definitely would take some of those pointers of what you said and that's that's super awesome you you know you sharing that will your daughter be a future basketball player or is she or is she going to our, <laughs> our oldest one uh -huh. I don't know. She like likes dance. Uh -huh. She's into like artwork and uh -huh. things like that. She's like a sweet, like helpful person, kind of like her mom. The younger one, the three year old, she kind of you know she's a little hard headed. <laughs> she likes throwing stuff around. She might have a chance to be uh -huh. a basketball player, yeah. and then we're expecting a third. So we'll see. We oh, don't know. We don't know what what um, they'll be into. But okay. so time will tell. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Last question. Um, how do you kind of measure your self growth out there every season? Yeah, I, I thought that was a great question. I think number one, there are true black and white things that you have to look at. Like you have to look at, you know, if you, if your staff uses analytics, counting stats, um, you know, whatever it is that they do to analyze, especially the offense, like mm -hmm. you have to, you have to look at the film, you have to look at what the numbers tell you, you know, if the math, the math should be math. And like, if you're doing your job um, in certain regards, player development is tied into that as well. Like, how are we able to improve certain players to achieve what they want and to help our program do what our program needs? That's a huge thing as well. Um, and then for me, it's really like, I think it's important to uh, do at least one like learning thing on your own. So is that going to a leadership seminar is that obviously the final four has a lot of great, uh, our convention has a lot of great resources. Um, last year I had the privilege of going to, uh, Larry Shiat clinic. Our men's staff hooked me up and I got to the, go to the university of Florida and observe uh, a coach's clinic out there. So I try to do one of those things. At least it's been less and less since we've been growing our family. So that's a blessing. So it's not a bad thing, but now I still try to pick one thing that I attend that will help me like 
really reevaluate and then also, um, you know, grow in terms of self-awareness of like, well, what am I doing coaching wise? That's good. What are, what are we not? Um, and then we ask for feedback a lot as a staff. Like we do meet with our players a lot, you know, and we, one of the things we pride ourselves on in this program is we give our players a voice in a lot of things. And so that's also a part of kind of the review of the year. Okay. No, that's that's amazing. I, I'm definitely in the summertime going to take a lot of time to grow as being a GA coming, you know, to my next season, but also to try to take some time out to see if there's some coaching clinics and, and camps or something that I could work or help with or just different yeah. things like that to kind of grow in that aspect. And like I said, congratulations, you know, on, you. on your next one. And uh, I really appreciate you being able to have take some time out to talk with me and share your insight. And I definitely gained some knowledge talking to you today. And I really appreciate you carving out time for me today. Absolutely. Keep up, keep, keep your grind going. Keep reaching out to people. Be fearless like you were reaching out to me. And, you know, I hope you get out of this what you want. And it helps you with everything you're trying to do. So thank you for having me on. Thank you so much. You have a great day. All right. We'll see you.